Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of my Rapid Chess series on chess.com. We are at 1301, we crossed 1300, which is quite iconic to be honest. I don't know if we can keep that rating during this video, we might lose and drop back, but that's not going to be a problem. So let's search for a worthy opponent and hopefully we can win. All right, he's slightly, uh, his rating is slightly lower than mine. We have the black pieces. If he goes for e4, we're gonna go for a Sicilian. And I'm not sure I want to play Benoni against d4. Probably we're gonna, mm, I'm gonna think about it. Probably d4, d5. Um, my opponent is from India, but he might the game so maybe we'll have to search again it looks like um, he's not ready maybe some internet connection problems seven six five four three two one another one thirteen thirty one and we're gonna go for a Sicilian indeed. Is it is this Slovakia or Slovenia? I would say Slovakia, let's see. It was Slovenia. Damn. All right, is he preparing d4? I do have a few tricks. Not like tricks, but I do have some knowledge of the opening, but I, I encountered very often. Okay, wow, that's, well, that's the first time I'm seeing uh, such thing. Um, Okay, how do we punish that? That's interesting. I've never seen this move. So it's usually it's usually d4 takes takes. But with the fianchetto, um, like hyper accelerated with g6, I've encountered people taking with the queen. I have to block with the knight, and then he attacks me, and it gets really nasty. So I'll have to double check the responses to that as well which i'm not too sure now but indeed he does do something completely different i think we can go ahead and steal fianchetto let me think or we can play d5 now d5 if he plays en passant i can if he pushes, I can take him right away because this pawn is going to be um, a pain in you know what. So I think I'm going to go d5 now. It's very unorthodox. I can even take actually with the pawn. Oh, that's actually so nice. All right. I don't think I don't think that's a problem. I can just block, develop another piece. This is so aggressive, so so uh, incredible. I can deliver a check. He will develop his knight. Take, take. Have to take. Mm, there's no question about that. Maybe I'll take first. Defend with the bishop. It's it's not easy. I'm debating the queen, but obviously he's gonna go out with the knight. It doesn't help me much. Takes, takes. Maybe then. 
bishop so it's mm, not clear either i'm gonna take but it's just the same problem anyway so probably i'm gonna deliver a check for Gonna take, it's gonna take back. And now put some defense on my knight. If he delivers a check, we can block. All right. I think it's best to take with the bishop, to be honest, and trade everything. It will be hard to fianchetto afterwards because d6 is going to be weak. Okay, pawn or bishop, I'm not too sure. If I take with the pawn, he still has the attack. So I think I'm gonna take with the, force him to take back. And it's not so easy. It's not so easy. Maybe I can still, Oh, that's, that's such cheap tricks, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Check. Block. Here. Castle. Here. Rook. It's not good. Obviously, I can drop back. Um, I don't think I want to do now. I don't think I want to do that now. What about rook? Rook to c8. The problem is that I'm not castled and it's really dangerous. But if I go here, castle, fianchetto, rook here, I cannot castle anymore. So I'm gonna have to drop the, the queen at some point. So rook to c8. Oh, he cannot play bishop there. I was so scared. Um, whoa, what? Excuse me. I can just force the uh, queen trade though. And I think, I think I'm gonna do that because uh, my position is too, too risky. I don't want to move my rook, uh, then the king will be. So let's just force a queen trade. And continue the plan, I guess. Right, he wants to. Well, he can target my knights as well. I think I'm going to fianchetto first. Okay. He is very aggressive. I think it's safe to castle now. Um, he goes there. 
I mean, let's just castle first. He's just attacking, attacking, attacking. But I don't know. Let's support a pawn push. It's not a problem if I weaken my king. Wow, he's just attacking, attacking, attacking. That's incredible. I've never seen something like that. Obviously, we can go here. Here, takes, takes. Don't know. Here, he can push. Here. Is attacking twice, or I can counter attack here. Um, let's see here takes, takes, he will take more pawns, and yeah, this has to be this has to be the move. I can still kick him away with uh, h6, but look at him now, he's gonna play um, g3. That would be absolutely ridiculous i think i can re reroute like that i can maybe go even look at him launching everything we can kick the bishop first Kick the knight afterwards. Problem is that the knight is going to come in, which is very annoying. But I think I want to kick the bishop first. If he takes, I'll take back. It's not a problem. And when I take back, <laughs> the diagonal opened. Will he see it or he will push another ridiculous pawn or attack with the, the knight? Um, he saw it. Okay, he cannot come here. He can probably kick his bishop. He will go here. I'll go there. And then... You know what? He's playing aggressive. I'm playing aggressive. Finally, he's having a bit of a thing. Okay, that was to be expected by his play style. Here, here. Here, he can go here and attack my pawn. Right. <clears throat> Does he have any check? No. Um, okay, how, how do we play this? Um, rook A to B. Rook F to D8. If rook f to d8, maybe he can push the pawn. I'm not a big fan of that. 
Um, let me go rook a to b8, and don't ask me why. He's playing so quickly. Um, takes, takes, well, I can take, 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 take. How do I take? He can take back with the knight, which is very annoying. So I think I'm going to have to give up my bishop and hope for the best. But take, 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 take. He's then attacking my pawn with check. And he can also infiltrate um, the second rank, which I'm not a big fan of. So again, so um, what if we take, 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 take? So, um, take, take, and he already is threatening the check. So if I take, he can go check first. Take, take, take. Check here. Just gonna move the rook. Then we win another pawn. You know what? Let's just go for it. anything better. Take. Take. It's going to think he's smart. Go for a check. Now I'm attacking his rook. If I take and he takes back, that's back rank checkmate. We can probably go there, which is smart. Um, I can still take. <clears throat> if I take, he's gonna take and attack my pawn. That's a bit of a problem. If I move here, take, it's not, it's not going to work. If I push, take, take, and I can't defend this pawn. Take, take. How do I take advantage of the fact that his rooks are disconnected? Maybe I can just push. Maybe I can just push. Take, take. If I let him take, I'll take back. Is that a problem? I don't think that's a problem. And if he pushes, that's probably a bit of a problem. Look to g8. Hmm. I don't know what to do, to be honest. Really don't know what to do.
take, take here, take. I really don't know. Push. Push. He's blitzing out every move, it's just ridiculous. And now he wins a pawn. Am I attacking his pawn? Or what? I might be pushed. Takes, takes. <clears throat> here, here. Wait, here, wait, wait, here, 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 it doesn't work, so, I think that this works, I think this might just work, oh no, he can push. So here, push, that's not working. Push, takes, takes. To do that. But this pawn is so annoying. I think he might be able to promote. I guess I can push. Push. King up. How do I get my king into the game? Maybe now is the time. Two minutes. Oh my god. Here, here. Here, here, so here, here, here. King up, is my king safe here? Can go around, I guess, but. Now this pawn is weak as well. What have I done? Oh my God. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh no, now I opened his rook as well. That's so bad. That's so bad. I have to blitz out the moves. You know what I mean? But wait. I don't think this is... 
don't think this is good. If he takes with the rook, maybe it's scary. If he takes with the pawn, I'm just gonna move up. Okay, but now I can trade a pair of rooks. Takes, takes, here, here, and I've got nothing. Um, pair of roots. Otherwise, I'm gonna get chess mated real quick. Two pawns versus one, this is really not holdable. Oh no, he's gonna take the other pawn as well. All right, go ahead, take the pawn. Oh, oh, what? Only has one pawn now. If we trade rooks, it's probably a draw. Really don't know what I'm doing at this point. Here, 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 here. I can't allow him to push his pawn for forward, so I'm gonna go for it now. Tough game. He has 17 minutes, guys. Uh, this just is incredible. How are these people so? So quick.
Oh no. Oh no, this is awful. This is awful. Now he pushes. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad because he's going to promote. I'm going to take. And he's going to screw me up. Hopefully he promotes now. Nope. Okay, he cannot go there. Let's tickle him with a chest. I don't know what I'm doing. Wow. How is he so quick? That's that's all I want to know. Three blunders. 83 against 81. How is he so quick and so accurate? 27 best moves. 14 excellent moves. Zero blunders. One great move. 83% accuracy. At 1300 ELO, practically playing bullet. Congratulations to him. What else can I say? Uh, yeah, this, I've never seen this move in my life. Um, <clears throat> just inaccuracies all over the place. Inaccuracies, inaccuracies. Mistake, mistake. Everything is an inaccuracy. All right, the only save of the match. Inaccuracy again. Okay. Finally, rook a to b8. Excellent. Best, best. I should have taken. At this point, it's still equal. So what's the continuation now? Is to give up a pawn for some reason. Yep, and white is winning anyway, so... Wow, so computer is okay with F3, which I was thinking about. Okay. Excellent. Oh, that's actually best, best, best. Here, yeah, I still had a chance. I had to find this move. Mm. So what if he defends back? Then you just shuffle around. Okay. At this point, I was already losing. Best move, best move, best move, best move, best move. Okay. 
Okay. That was interesting as well. I took a pawn. At this point, it was drawish, but not easy. And I wasn't sure the technique. So I had to go to b8. Oh, that was the great, the best move. Best move again. Great move. Best move. Best move. Best move. Okay, I should have checked him from the back. Great move again. And it's just this one's a blunder. He got the he has the opposition. Should have checked him over and over again. And would have still been equal, but I blundered the mate in one. Um look how yellow the opening is. This is ridiculous. Like I don't know. He played a nonsense opening and then and then he played pretty well, but very, very quickly and I'm happy that I found a lot of great moves, but under pressure and with time, I just blundered mating one. It's been a while since I've done that, so not too shabby. And still with all these um, mistakes, we played like a 1550, so that's not too bad. And we had a great middle game. Um, Excellent endgame is just one blunder, mating one, that cost me the whole thing. But even before, he had the advantage, equal, he had the advantage, equal, and then I blundered in the I think I should be happy with 24 best moves and 5 great moves and 11 excellent moves. Just one blunder. Zero misses, three mistakes. Yeah, so one blunder for 63 moves. I think that's good enough. I'm, I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, we're back at 1294. So we'll have to get back up to uh, tomorrow or the day after. Uh, stay tuned for that. Check out the playlist if you want more content. And thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.